Hi guys! My hair is so crazy today. I'm trying to keep the crazy part out of frame. There. But I guess that ruins it since I told you about it. I want to tell you guys about a super easy breakfast option for raw foods today. I have people asking me all the time for recipes and I am not a chef. I make super easy basic food for myself and I love it. So I'll just put that out there that I'm not a professional chef and there are plenty of amazing more complex recipes out there. You can just Google raw cereal or raw breakfast or whatever and you will find amazing things. Something I use that I've done a video on previously is the Rotarian app. You can get that app. I think it's three dollars. It's well worth it. They're really simple recipes also but she has tons of easy recipes to make and those are fun. So um, in addition to all the websites there are out there that's another fun one to use. She also gives you grocery lists and um, all the ingredients right there. So easy. So this is something I make almost every morning and it is just a raw chia cereal. It's so, so easy and there are so many different variations that you will not get bored of this and it's so good for you. It's very high protein. It's um, great for omega-3s. It's just really, really healthy for you. Fiber also. So I'll, let me tell you what you need for this. Get some organic chia. I get this from Thrive Market. You can also get it from Whole Foods and a bunch of different places. Um, this is just organic chia seeds. Sometimes I get the white chia just for variation, but I pour this into a bowl, a cup, or any kind of container, and then I add water. And I usually add more water than I think I'm gonna need because it will thicken up. So you wanna mix it up then really well, otherwise you have pockets of dry seeds which are really gross, just FYI. And then from there, that's your base. From there, it's just a matter of fancying it up depending on what you've got around, what season it is, and what sounds good to you at the moment. So a lot of times I will throw fresh fruit in there. That's one of my favorite things. If I have nothing else, I'll put a banana, but it's super good if you have berries or peaches in the summer. It's so yummy. I love doing that. You can also do dates. Sometimes I'll put a date in there, just chop it up and stir it in to make it really sweet and yummy. My daughter also loves chia cereal. I usually have to share with her if I'm sitting by her and eating. Kyle had this in the cupboard. I don't know where he got it, but it's righteously raw, raw chocolate, and it's spicy. It's um, it's actually a drink, the ancient Aztec cacao spice drink. So mysterious, but it's so yummy. It's really spicy, and sometimes I'll mix that in to my chia. Um, also, you can just use honey. Some I usually want something for a sweetener in there, whether that's fresh fruit, a little bit of honey, a date something to sweeten it up just a little bit. It's it's fairly bland by itself. I also put cinnamon in sometimes. Vanilla is super good. If I'm feeling really crazy, I'll, instead of water, I'll use kombucha. Um, if I'm feeling really, really creative and have a lot of time, I'll make a fresh almond milk or Brazil milk, something like that. And I was just eating it, so I like have it on my mouth. Um, I'll do a video on nut milks. They're super, super easy as well. So that's your basic cereal. If you don't have any time, just do the chia and water. This actually, I forgot to mention this, has um, a juice in it that is, it was something that was too sweet for me to eat or drink generally, but I just put a little bit of it in here. I think it's beet and carrot, which normally I wouldn't have but I just found it in the fridge. I think it was someone else's. So I just uh, mix a little bit of that in there. It makes that a little bit sweeter and kind of a cute color because normally it's sort of a gray color. So that's it. Very good and easy breakfast and I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will definitely do more food basics even though, like I said, not a chef, but I'm pretty adept at making basic foods that are inexpensive, easy to make, and will get you through. So have a great day, guys. Thanks so much.